Okay, guys, welcome back to some more Tekkis. The general, the general, the gentle mumble of the chainsaw, the annoying fucking bird sounds, and the annoyance of the of the mountain, the wind sweeping through my pixelated hair. Um, and I'm trying to be like Minecraft Shakespeare right now. But anyway, guys, we're gonna with this episode. I've been flirting with, that's really probably not the word we need to use, but I've been suggesting the idea of moving out, and I think it's finally time. This mountain, it's nice and everything, but I'm just sick to death of the, the constant wind. Um, but we've got a fucking jetpack, I can jump really freaking high with the thing, and it's amazing. So, what we're going to do, guys, is pack up our humble little abode here, um, and move out. The epic house, epic house. Um, it's no longer, but what we're going to have to do, guys, is uh, pick up all our valuables and try to condense it down, no pun intended, um, to as little as we can. So, th what I'm going to do, guys, is turn everything into diamonds before we leave, and then when we get back, is j not get back, once we find our new home, is unpack via con uncondensing diamonds into materials and stuff. But um, I'm obviously going to need to take some stuff with me and what I am planning on doing um, is noting down my nether coordinates so if I do ever, ever want to come back to this place I can just jump through the nether and come back if I have missed something that's absolutely crucial um, but yeah last episode we ended on a massive climax that was taking out a ghast with a chainsaw kind of one hit kill the guy so it was kind of a bit anticlimactic but epic nonetheless so we're going to set a waypoint here guys for our, our nether. Why do I have no... Alright. Oh, nether and overworld are separate. That is actually pretty fucking genius. So, what we're going to do here, guys. Is set up a waypoint for our... Um, why am I calling it a waypoint? Um, for my epic house. Um, so, if we ever need to come back here. Um, this is an easier passage of, of getting back. Because, um, as you know, you do move much faster in the nether than the overworld. So, we're going to... Nope. I don't want more. Go away. Remove... Go away. Remove. Thank you. Thank you, waypoints. Um, but yeah, this is just going to be an emergency portal. But um, hopefully you don't like... I don't like spending time in the, in the nether. So we're going to fuck right off out of here. Um, and move on to our overworld. But um, there are a couple of items I, I would like to make. Um, one being an... What do I hear? Burning. Alright, that's just the annoying fucking of the macerator um, but yeah I would have liked to make an ender chest or something similar but we are playing on version 1.2.5 at this point even though 1.3 is out um, I just don't think the tech at launcher is up to date with that not that it's really that essential but it uh, would have been nice to just fit that extra inventory stuff with me as I came along but we're going to take our absolute necessary stuff here um, as well as a little bit of other crap um, just in case of course but um, a lot of this stuff I can just leave here. I mean, it's not too hard to get a lot of this stuff. But what I did want to do before I left off is to convert all my iron ore and stuff into the macerator, turn it into dust, and then smelt it into ingots. And then from there, turning it all into EMC. Um, but yeah, so what we're going to have to do is turn all our crap, such as our nickelite and stuff, which we can easily obtain in the future, all our different gems and stuff. Um, redstone and all that and turn it into into something of a uh, bigger value because we can obviously just get this ore all over again in our new in our new area but as I've just been describing the past um, minute or s not a minute but anyway um, yeah I just fucking I don't like this mountain um, this landscape it's a nice little place to look at but it just doesn't feel like home and um, I know you guys know the feeling of not liking to build places that you don't like the look of. If that made any goddamn sense, hopefully you can relate to that sensation. But I just haven't been feeling it, guys. Um, it just it just hasn't felt natural here. Um, but I would like to set up a second macerator. Um, it would be nice, but at the same time, I don't think that's going to happen because, yeah, I, I honestly forget how to make it. And um, I don't think it's worthwhile setting up a bunch of new stuff um, just before I pack up and leave. But, um, yeah, well, I think we went a bit overkill on the sticky resin here, but we're going to turn this all back into diamonds. This may take a long while to condense, but um, hopefully we can get a fair few diamonds out of this thing. Um, and it looks like we, f we should do, because this is a lot of crap. Um, nope, I want that. I will take that back, good sir. Um, we need our covalence dust um, for a few things, and it's not exactly the most valuable thing in the world, but at the same time, 
it is very useful for some things. So, um, yeah, at the end of this, we're going to have a fair few diamonds, I imagine. So, bringing diamond armor with us probably isn't essential, but it is one of those things. If I do have it in the end, I will probably bring it with me, um, just because it does have a high EMC. I'm going to be prioritizing prioritizing things obviously with the highest EMC value so anything like cobblestone or flint or anything I'm just gonna fuck right off I do not care for that stuff but diamond leggings I mean I don't know if I can con condense that oh okay apparently I can but um, in that same limelight I might actually condense as much as I can down I didn't actually realize you could condense armor and stuff um, but that is a, a nice thing to know in the future um, but apart from that, we're probably not going to need a lot of this other stuff. Um, so diamond shovels, pickaxes, we've got our chainsaw and our drill, so we're not going to be needing that. So it's going to chuck all that crap out. Um, just trying to think of different things that I'll be needing. But obviously, we're just going to be rocking up to our new area just with a shit ton of diamonds into the new neighborhood. Probably going to get mugged or something, but anyway. Um, please don't be charcoal in there. Not quite sure why shift clicking doesn't work. But um, I heard off, have heard off the grapevine, rather, that if you pick up machine blocks, anything related to machines, um, just manually, they can break or just get deconverted into machine blocks. So what we're going to have to do here, guys, is build a wrench. Uh, that's not how you build a wrench, evidently. Um, but we're gonna, we've got our lucky little our search tool here, so we can make a wrench. Um, not quite sure what the difference is between a orange one and a non-orange one, but... Apparently there is a difference, but I like the look of the orange one better. Um, bronze, what is that shit? Oh, don't you freaking tell me I have to make tin dust. My god. It's happening all over again. The thing that never happened. But, um, yeah, so apart from moving out, our goal for the episode is to make some freaking bronze. Um, but I'm pretty sure to make bronze, all we need to do is chuck some copper in the macerator as well as some tin. And from there, we can grab some tin and copper dust, respectively, and craft that stuff into bronze, which is, I'm pretty sure how the system works. Um, but it's, it's going to be a sad, sad departure from this place. Um, there is some nice landscape. Um, we might not actually even end up moving too far away. Um, I just don't like being up so high. Um, a Y of 111 just seems a little bit overkill. Um, and just the wind in this mod is just a little bit annoying. Um, I do realize I can turn it off. But at the same time, I'd just prefer to have somewhere flat to work with because I can't exactly stick an industrial-sized shed or warehouse on the top of the mountain without it looking like a bit of a strange fucking weird complex. So that is the main reason why we're going to be moving out today. It's a little bit sad, a little bit emotional, tearing up a little bit on the inside, but I won't let that emotion show for you guys because I know you guys hate seeing me cry over Minecraft. Um... But yeah, still having a lot of fun with Tekkit, so for that reason, I'm going to keep pushing it. And um, as always, you guys leave epic feedback in the comments, and if you want to continue that, it'll be fantastic. As well as building ideas, different things to build, epic, epic, uh, epic, uh, what is this word, epic machines, epic contraptions, and all that shit. Um, feel free to suggest videos for me to watch. Um, I, I don't generally consider it spam if it's relevant, so if you want to, you know, do the whole tricky post the URL of a video into the comment of a relevant video. Please explain to me what the video is before you do that, by the way. But yeah, just epic ideas and stuff um, that might be interesting for those who like this Tekkit series. But anyway, we're going to get stuck into this bronze dust, bronze making -ness. I'm pretty sure I've ever gotten that the wrong... Copper! What? I've played enough certain games to know that tin and copper make bronze. Bronze... Bronze dust, how do we do... Oh, you're joking. You were joking. Okay, so it looks like I've inverted what I actually need. I don't like this blackness of the search tool. I'm not being colorist right now, but it is that black tint is quite frustrating to look at. Um, but yeah, it looks like I'll actually be able to condense most of my stuff down to a smaller size, which is actually surprising. I didn't think I'd be able to do that very well. But um, we've still got our ruby pickaxe, the first one we ever crafted, as well as our sapphire sword. So they're a bit nostalgic, so we're going to leave those um, to rest in peace over at the Epic House. Um, but before before we say our goodbyes, we've got a... What? Why is that in there? I don't want that in there. Um, yeah, it's going to take quite a long time time rather to macerate all my ore and stuff so what I will be doing guys is skipping ahead until I've done all that but before we do that we're going to make this wrench um, but 
we've got enough coal and stuff. We're going to use our Philosopher's Stone because it's a portable crafting wrench. And we're going to go out of our way to use that freaking thing. Um, but anyway, so we've got our bronze dust here. Obviously, probably going to need a bit more of that, guys. So I'm a bit pissed off right now. I'm probably going to need to macerate a fair bit more copper. Um, which is, yeah, a lot, a lot more frustrating than I actually thought it would be. But we are running out of coal very quickly. And I'm getting pissed off at that because... Um, my coal supply is already so severely low, but um, luckily enough, we have a freaking condenser, um, and hopefully we can actually get a fair bit of coal out of this thing, because for some reason, coal just seems to be this very expensive resource, which I don't understand. It's not exactly valuable. Um, I have a full double chest of this stuff in my Let's Play world, so I don't see why it's necessary for it to have such a high MC. But anyway, guys, I'll go ahead and do a ton of macerating, and I'll join you guys when I'm ready to make this ranch. Okay, guys, um, I'm not pretty unreliable for, for episode goals, but um, I was just reading my comment section from episode 8, I'm pretty sure. Um, and I got an epic comment. This may from be from episode 7. I'm really bad with numbers. Um, but anyway, so I got a really good suggestion. This is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Um, a guy actually suggested a really epic idea that I was unaware of, and he suggested I create a swift... It's swift something... A swift walls rendering gale, and to my knowledge, this thing makes me fly, except it doesn't use charges or something or other like that. So I want to give a special shout out, shout out, shout out to Lycosa Reborn because this thing sounds fucking amazing. It's a ring. Um, if you like it, put a ring, put a ring on it. Um, the fuck, I've gone from like Justin Bieber to Miley Cyrus to fucking Beyonce. But anyway, this has been the worst series of all time. But yeah, and also M. Pez Jaw or something also added on to that. So yeah, that's the kind of stuff I've been looking for, guys. So we're going to... Dark Matter. My God. Um, our new episode goal is to either move out or get one of these bad boys. Because this thing looks fucking amazing. Uh, I'm going to give this thing a go. Oh, but this this does look very, very expensive. Um, holy shit. They don't, they don't spare anything, do they? They really assume that a lot of... Wow. Wow. Why is that one so... What? 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 Volcanic amulet. Oh, okay. Um, this volcanic amulet, I have no idea what it does, but I'm going to go off the assumption that it just fills lava buckets with... Uh, buckets with lava, rather. Um, I guess that's a fairly safe bet, just using the old noggin to come up with that con with that assumption. But anyway, we're going to... We're going to... While our stuff macerates and we get prepared to move out, what we're going to do is pursue this... Why is that stopped? Why is that not macerating? Why are you not... W Wait. There's your fucking problem. I was wondering why this thing wasn't working. But yeah, whilst our stuff macerates and all that good shit, um, we're going to pursue this thing because that ring looks fucking amazing. Um, and Lycosa, I thank you for suggesting that. So if you guys want to help me out with suggesting such epic things like that, um, that'd be awesome, you guys. Um, there's so much stuff that I'm just unaware of in this mod. And you guys are amazing for fucking feedback. So, yeah, if you guys give me a good tip, I will do my best to give you a verbal shout out. Uh, I don't want to be doing that or that. I want to be macerating that shit first. I guess we can put our put our pre macerated goods and stuff in here. Um, but yeah, whilst we wait for this stuff to all macerate and everything like that, um, what we can do is actually get this ring, and then from there we can actually probably use that as an alternative to the jetpack. Hopefully, it is as good as this guy claims it to be. But, um, yeah, hopefully, if you guys can give me some good ideas, I'll give you some some shout-out. I can't guarantee it. I mean, I'm going to fucking forget everything in the world. But um, if I do remember your name, I will give you a quick little quick little shout-out for helping me out with the series. But I probably shouldn't be bringing two stacks of diamonds with me to go on a deadly journey. But what I do need is a couple of iron ingots to create a bucket. Because, um, yeah, pretty lacking in that department right about now. But I guess we can afford to cook up three iron ingots um, without macerating the bad boys first. Um, but we've got a lot of rubbers. Um, there's going to be a lot of preventing a lot of uh, unfortunate things with those rubbers. Um, but anyway, anyway, uh, topic changer. Um, yeah, so once we get these three ingots, uh, we turn these things into a bucket. Go get go down to my mine and pursue the the need for a lava bucket and I guess we can take the cheap man's way out I guess we we don't really care for the landscape at this point um, nope you can go in there um, oh, I'm getting spam on steam I can't oh, oh. 
Um, anyway, we're going to take the easier man's way out and use this destruction catalyst. Um, I did also get an epic, not an epic, but a very helpful tin, hint, rather, um, to uncharge this thing. Blur. That's such an epic noise. But if you press shift and V, that'll uncharge if you're standing up and press V. Fuck yeah. I fucking love that noise so much. Um, that'll do the opposite. So what we're going to do, since we've got our, our jetpack and our destruction catalyst and we don't care about the landscape because, um, fuck the environment slash YOLO. Um, anyway, that was super gay. Um, but yeah, we're just going to go digging straight down with this thing. Um, because yeah, Rebel, as I said. But this could be very bad and very good at the same time. So we're going to give this a go. Um, hopefully I don't kill myself. But um, the goal is to find some lava. Oh, oh, this is going to be difficult. This is going to be really difficult, actually. How do I, how does one maintain a stable thing while flying? That's probably why I wasn't digging too fast. I was using a chainsaw. But um, yeah, we want to grab that uranium ore because that shit has a very high EMC count. I actually might check that, um, the actual EMC count that that stuff does have. And that's actually surprising that it only has an EMC of 4,000 because it doesn't make like multiple diamonds. So I think the EMC count is actually lying to me, guys. I think it's all a conspiracy. And um, for that reason, I'm going to call bullshit on that one. But oh, I thought that was diamonds, you son of a bitch. Um, I apologize if you can't see too well considering how dark it is. It just got really quiet though, so I feel a little bit awkward. Um, <laughs> it feels like I've been recording for ages and all of a sudden when the game goes quiet, I'm like, holy fuck. I'm just talking to myself right now. It's so weird. But anyway, in actuality, I'm talking to a few hundred people. But no matter how long I do this, I, I can't ignore the fact that uh, it just feels like I'm talking to myself. Um, but anyway, pressing onwards, we've got to find some lava. Um, hopefully, we'll find it fairly quickly. Um, and then from there, we can load up this lava bucket, this bucket, which will then become a lava bucket. But um, if we if we run out of... Oh, blah, 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 blah. Found some diamonds. Happy, happy, happy. Um, but this thing just absolutely rapes your inventory filled with cobblestone. So I wish there was like a filtration system that you could put in your inventory. Um, I have seen some pretty epic mining filtration piping systems and stuff. Um, I know they exist, guys. Trust me. I'm just, yeah, I don't feel like I'm too competent in that regard. So I'm going gonna, I'm to gonna focus on stuff that I feel like I can actually explain. Um, with a little bit of accuracy before I move on to the more difficult stuff. Um, but yeah, so it doesn't look like we're too successful in the in the old, what's it called, lava fighting department. But we do have this destruction catalyst and it shouldn't take too long. Uh, running at a wide 6.6, .6, which is probably our reason. No, oh my go. <laughs> no matter how many times you find diamond in this game, every time it makes you pee your pants a little bit. Um, I don't know if you guys actually urinate when you find diamonds. You probably a little bit, hmm, um, you probably need to get it checked out, but yeah, I had to go to the doctor, in therapy for that shit, anyway, I f fucking hate myself, um, but yeah, hopefully you can start finding some more diamonds on this layer here, fuck, I'm a disgusting human being for some of the shit I say, but more diamonds, the moment I want lava, I can't find it, the moment I want diamonds, I find lava, like, Jesus, um, yeah, so much cobblestone, it's so annoying, and beautiful at the same time if you are wanting cobblestone, but I don't. So what we're going to do is look for diamonds here. And evidently, it's going to be the way that I find lava. Pew. Um, because, yeah, this game fucking hates me. The zombie's going to die to a chainsaw. How fitting. Um, but, yeah, like, zombie apocalypse and stuff. We're just going to fucking random tea conversation. But who the fuck actually wants to kill zombies with the chainsaw? I mean, it's really the worst thing in the world to kill anything with. Uh, just putting that out. Why did I not make the bucket? Did I, did I seriously come down here without a bucket? Fuck up, Chainsaw. I'm sick of your shit. <coughs> what is wrong with me? I apologize for coughing like a, like a cough person, but... Um, oh, I'm actually retarded. Like... I... Yep. Didn't actually make a bucket. Well, wow. um, but yeah, guys, I'll be right back. I'm gonna create a, a furnace here and actually cook up some iron here. Um, but I'll be right back once this thing is ready. I don't know why I threw the furnace, but I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we've got our iron ingots here. Um, what is this? What over this tin dust? I guess we can cook that while we wait. 
But, um, yeah, we're going to have to make this bucket here. I feel like such a spud for forgetting to make that bucket. Um, I'm, I'll have to actually look back at the footage to see what I did, but I'm pretty sure it was pretty spud-like. But um, I've just been killing a few mobs with this chainsaw, and it feels like it's actually a bit stronger than a sword, which actually surprised me. I, I imagine it was going to be a little bit lackluster in the whole killing department, but evidently it actually goes all right for a chainsaw. Um, I almost said a white guy, but that wouldn't have made any sense. But now that I've said that, no sense was made. Um, do we really need this tin ore? I've got no inventory space. Oh, well, I guess we better move on. But we've got our lava bucket now. Um, but now what we need to do um, is make a crap ton of dark matter. Too lazy to use the stairs. Too lazy to use anything, so fuck life. Let's just go up, because I'm uh, a reb. Reb, reb. Um, let's kill a sheep. Anyway, onwards. Um, I'm just way too addicted to this jetpack, but I do realize that it's probably going to kill me. And um, a good little mini tip I did get was from a guy who suggested that every time I land with this thing is to land into deep water. And with my spastic, um, my spastic mannerisms, I'm, I'm actually leaning towards that as actually a viable tip. I know it's pretty much common sense, but it is actually something I will probably be trying to do in the future because I do take a lot of damage just from being a spud. Um, so yeah, it's a very, very helpful tip there. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we've got a crap ton of diamonds, which equals a crap ton of EMC. And um, a crap ton of EMC is, what do we need? We need Swifty, 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 um, to make Dark Matter. So Dark Matter runs at about 140k, diamonds run at about 8,000. So in that ratio, I, I don't want to do on the fly math while doing commentary. But that's that's a fair few diamonds. It's almost like 18 diamonds or something. I feel like, not. I did it. I, I just did math. Um, but it's it's obviously not 18 because there's no way I can be correct whilst commentating. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have to make some dark matter. I've actually never made the stuff before. But um, before we get into the dark matter, actually, we're gonna have to make this this beautiful. Damn it, Swift! Your and your blackness in the inventory screen always throws me off. Um, there we go, that's the iron ingots that I never actually grabbed out of the furnace in the first place. That solved that mystery. Um, anyway, I was just saying it's so destructive so easily. Um, but what the fuck? We need to make this iron band, that's all I know. Um, we've probably just ping-ponged off some vital topic that I was just talking about. But regardless, we've got to get these eight iron ingots stuck into it so we can actually make this freaking thing. We've got refined iron, that, that's obviously not going to do the job though. Um, so, yeah, we're going to actually just chuck in... Where is the iron? Right in front of my face. Um, but, yeah, what I did want to test out while this stuff is cooking is why uranium ore is quoted to only have 4,000 EMC, whilst diamond actually has du like literally double of its EMC. So what I wanted to do is actually completely empty the the condenser here and actually see like if that's true. Um, I'm going to call bullshit on that one, but... If we chuck a diamond in there with 8,000 EMC and follow that up by putting uranium, in theory it should fill the bar half full, but let's see what happens. Okay, I stand corrected. Um, for some reason I was under the assumption that uh, uranium was just this godlike substance, but um, what I do want to try out is see if we can actually get another uranium ore out of those two. Um, what did I just... what just happened? Please tell me I just didn't find a duping method. Okay, I'm going to try this out. I'm actually going to feel like a massive fucking scumbag if this works. But I think I just found out a duplication, dupl duplication way. Either that or my brain is just fucking me over right now. And I had actually like leftover EMC or something like that. But I do want to empty my inventory apart from my chainsaw. Because no, that's actually really annoying. Um, but what I want to do is grab this uranium here. So as you can see, our condenser has zero... EMC left in it, so what I want to do is grab one diamond, two uranium, and see what we can do from there. Um, obviously, this is just in the the interest of science. Uh, yeah, fuck, fuck science and everything. But so yeah, what we're starting off. This is may like may look a bit strange, but I'm gonna tr attempt to duplicate this stuff. Just see if it does work. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Um, so two diamonds, one uranium. All right, let's do this. Let's, no, I did it again. Why am I fucking such a spastic at this game? Right, I'm going to give this one more attempt because I think I'm I'm beating a dead horse right now, um, if I'm honest. So, one diamond. 
Okay, what is happening? I, I don't know what just happened. So apparently I'm actually retarded uh, for the second time this episode. Um, I don't know why I thought that was duplicating. Um, maybe it did, maybe it didn't. Uh, maybe I just saw something and misinterpreted it. But anyway, we're going to move on. Um, we've got our furnace cooking away. I know I'm wasting valuable dust there, but we need to make this freaking this ring of amazingness because it's a ring and it's amazing. Um, but that volcanic amulet sounds freaking sexy, so I kind of kind of want to make that thing because it does yeah, sound sexy. But this iron band, not quite sure what it does on its own. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't do anything. Um, it just looks like it's a crafting ingredient. Um, I'm not sure how many different rings that... Oh, there are so many different rings. I'm seriously going to go on a fucking ring making frenzy at some stage in this series. But for now, we're going to stick to the, the Swift Walls rendering Gale. Don't know how you come up with that kind of name for anything, but obviously we're going to need some dark matter. That is so expensive. What the fuck? Am I actually going to be able to create this? Um, oh, well. I think I'm in over my head, but we're going to give this a go anyway, just for you guys. Because I'm just so generous and shit. But again, blackness, go away. Um, but this episode will be a bit longer than the than the, the predecessor, just considering um, the amount of time it's going to take me to make all this stuff. But this thing should kick ass. Um, and it, oh, that was the worst accident of all time. Um, but we're going to need a fuck ton of coal. Um, but actually, what I'm thinking of doing is actually, where's my Philosopher's Stone? God damn it. Um, is actually turning all this coal into Mobius fuel and then condensing the Mobius fuel that way as opposed to just crafting the stuff over and over. Um, actually making that Alternus fuel or whatever the fuck the name was. Um, but yeah, we will do that. Uh, we've got, actually got to make four of that thing. One, two, three, one, two, three. Counting on video is amazing entertainment for those who didn't know. Um, but yeah, actually we're going to have to make a lot more than that. God, I'm so bad with these block placing shit. Um, anyway, so there we go. We've got, we got the correct amount of stuff. This should make the alternative fuel, or the fuck the name is. I, that's actually not as a bad attempt at trying to say that word. But what we're going to do now, since we have that fuel, is actually chuck it in the condenser. And he's actually craft that stuff with diamonds. So that's going to speed up the process a hell of a lot. Um, I'm not quite sure. How, oh, wow, that's very expensive. Um, I'm going to actually double check how much that stuff I need, because I don't want to go overkill with that stuff. Because um, I don't want it if I don't need it. Um, don't care for that. Uh, well, wow. so a block of diamonds. So nine diamonds and eight alternative fuels per one dark matter. And we need four dark matter to make this thing. So that's actually, it's, it's very expensive, but at the same time I can actually pull it off. Um, which is nice to know. Um, I'm pretty sure I do have the resources required. Although, do I have enough to make four blocks? Yes, I do. Which is great. An upside down pair of pants is what I wanted. Um... But yeah, so we're going to have to make eight, eight, what are we making? We need eight per one, so we're going to need 32 alternative fuel. Um, so we're going to need four more diamonds, because it's actually a one-to-one -one ratio, um, which is actually kind of convenient, even though it is very expensive, but it just makes that whole process a little bit easier. But now this is going to be like the most expensive crafting thing I've ever done, but we're going to make our, our dark matter here, guys. And I might actually look into making some more dark matter tools and stuff. If you guys want to help me out in that regard, letting me know what's actually good. Um, if dark matter is actually worth pursuing, because um, I'm definitely willing to give it a go, as long as it is a viable option. But this is going to be amazing, guys. Um, I don't know what this ring does, but we're going to make it anyway. So this is a pretty monumentous occasion. But anyway, guys, we've got the Swift Wolves, Ren and Gale. That is an, that, that name. Um, but I'm going to take off my jetpack because apparently this thing makes... Holy fuck! What the hell? I don't know if that's consuming fuel, so I will put uh, our stuff away. Just to make sure, because what happened last time with the, with the glowstone, I never want that... What is this? Can I fly? Why can't I fly? What is this shit? It just shoots the mini fucking tornadoes! I thought it made me fly. What is this? What? Does it damage things? Kill the cow. Go. Go my tornado. What the fuck? Um. <laughs> I'm actually. Not too sure what this thing does. Can we shove a tornado up the butt of a cow? Will that do anything? Die. I don't know what is happening. Guy. Uh. 
what I might do, guys, is actually do a bit of research on this thing so I can close off this episode with a bit of knowledge as opposed to ignorance and stupidity. But all this thing does is shoot tornadoes. What's the point of this? Um, anyway, guys, I'll be right back once I find out what the fuck this thing does. Okay, guys, so I've just been popping around the place. That's probably the worst way to describe anything. But I've been walking around and... I figured out what this... No, I didn't figure it out, but I figured out that I can charge this thing. And it's... What? I, why? Why is that... Oh, my God. How do I... So, yeah, I don't know why it just goes... That's all it does. Um, I was going to look at, like, some tutorial, but apparently it just makes a shit ton of noise. And um, I know there are four different variants of this thing, but when it, do I have to hold a C? Spam C? But as I, I don't know. I don't know if my game is glitched or anything, but um, yeah, I don't know how this thing works. But I would, what I will do, guys, is go ahead and do a bit of research. But this episode is getting very lengthy, so I will call it um, an episode from here, guys. I appreciate if you watched the end of the episode. If you did, chuck in donkey doodles into the comments. But anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the longer episode, and hopefully we can actually figure out what this thing does next episode, or in the incoming episodes, we can actually start moving out. But anyway, guys, hope, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of Tech It, and um, I'll catch you guys later for the next one.